Mike, you've got Garud in the uh, Zipping Classic this uh, Saturday at Sandown, and it's a five-year-old uh, gelding. Yeah, look, he um, came off a uh, really good run here last start, and start before that he won nicely at Bendigo, so uh, it's a step up to weight for age, but it does look a strong weight for age field by any means, so uh, happy the way he's trained on, and, and uh, be interested to see how he goes. Comes to the mile and a half and has shown talent here, and as you said, a good win at Bendigo, which was over the mile and a half. Yeah, look, it was a truly run race that day, and it really suited him, and he he won uh, pulling up won pretty easily. So, um, you know, the question mark would be the rising class and the, and the fact that he's running away for age. Has placed top three all of his starts, except uh, one one place where he didn't, where he was fourth, and he just looks good, and he places every start. Yeah, look, he has been very consistent since we've had him. He started his racing career off in England, where he had his first three starts here, came off a maiden when we bought him, and, uh, look, he's been racing great since we've had him here. Some couple uh, good Group 2 winners in this race, do you reckon he can uh, place in the top three? Yeah, we think he can. Um, we think he can and uh, we had a little bit of rain um, would help him a wee bit as well because he's got a little bit of form, um, you know, and, and dead to slow ground. And then we go to uh, last week and Wall Street looked well placed in the Emirates Stakes running a fourth. Uh, yeah, look, he ran home well, he got held up briefly and hence we're going to take him to Perth now and uh, there's two nice races here for him. Over the spring, can you have any standout selections that caught your eye from the stable? Not really. We've had a pretty quiet spring. It's probably the first spring that we haven't had a Group 1 winner for a while. Uh, look, last money went terrific in the, in the McKinnon, and, um, but unfortunately he's had to have an operation. He had a bo uh, suffered a bone chip uh, during that running in a fetlock joint, so that's been removed, and uh, hopefully we'll be back for the autumn.